but we're now in Nuremberg. You can see the Congress Hall just through those trees. We'll get a better shot in a minute. And uh, this is what they call the Great Road. You can see it was fairly wide, made up these granite blocks in front of me. And after the Second World War, the Americans used this as a temporary runway. Panning over through the, across the lakes. I'll be going to the Congress Hall next and then to the main rally ground called Zeppelin Field, which is just over the other side of that lake before the party grounds. There was a zoo here. See the entrance to it? And there's an aerial photograph of it. You see the lakes and some of the lakes are just through there. Well in front of us you can see the Congress Hall. This is going to be the Nazi meeting place never was actually finished. I think there was going to be a roof on it at some stage, but it's open to the atmosphere if you like. And it's a U-shaped building. One end is in the centre of the screen and it swings right round. And the other side of the U is out of shot. The lake that we just looked at is just behind me. And we're going to go down this road around the other side of the Congress Hall to the main area which was called the Zeppelin Field purely because von Zeppelin landed there back in I think 1903. Now this is the entrance way into the Congress Hall grounds. Just walking through the tunnel well, the entrance hall, anyway. And now you can see the actual size of it. Absolutely vast. As I say, from what I've read, this was going to have a roof over it. But it never actually was finished. You can see the Congress Hall being constructed in this photograph. And how it was used later on. They reckon if finished it would have been probably between two and three times the size of the Colosseum in Rome. I can see across the lake now into the back of the U-shaped Congress Hall. We're walking round the lake and we're going off to the Zeppelin field along here. It's only about half a mile to walk. Well, we've arrived at the Zeppelin field. This is what remains now of the National Socialist Party rally grounds. A lot of the structure was knocked down due to it being unsafe. But the main central piece is there in front of us. And it was that central piece that you remember. There's a shot on the internet of the swastika being shot off at the top. We've obviously had some sort of pop concert here recently.
Well, we're looking at the end structure, what remains. And the actual rally ground, the veen behind that stadium that I, you see in front of us. You can see these row of columns behind that lorry with land graph on it still remaining. And we're now going to go up the steps to the main central section of the stadium. You can see that this place is still has an attraction to some people, myself included, guided tours and there's the main center of the rally ground in front of us where those people are standing on that platform. I'll zoom in on it. This is where you've seen pictures of Adolf Hitler addressing the crowd which will be behind this stadium in front of me. Well I've walked along in front of the what remains of the stadium, the steps. There would have been arches at the back there that were taken down. As I say, they were unsafe. And here is the main centre of the rally ground, where that person is standing on that platform. This is where Hitler would have addressed the crowds that attended these rallies. I'm hoping to be able to get inside up there certainly looks open. That's where I'm going next. This picture shows it in its full glory. You can see the arches being now destroyed and it was base designed by Albert Speer on the Pergamon altar. And you see the flags in that corner. That was what I was saying previously, the remains of the towers on, around the ground. Well, you can see the extent of the rally grounds. You can see just in the far distance over that grass mound, the tops of those towers that had the flags in that picture. And of course it's developed over the years over the far side. You can just see, if I zoom in on it, some of the towers still remaining. And then over to the right, the towers that we saw when we first came in. I'm standing on the platform where the Führer would have stood, addressing the people and the rally as they came into this ground, enormous ground. Well, I'm looking at the left-hand side of the stadium, that's left-hand side as you look out to the rally grounds in front of us. There's the platform where Hitler would have stood. We're now looking up to the main part of the rally ground what remains of it. As I say, all the arches that would have been along here have gone. Now this is the central door of the main part of the stadium and it's up there that you would have seen in many a film the swastika being blown off the top. No signs of it really. No marks as if it was chip brickwork. Looks very clean, in fact, maybe too good, maybe it's been replaced.